Hello and welcome to a new video. Is a new library for Arturia's Mini Freak. As you saw from the title you clicked, it's called Hybrid Synthetics and it's created by a friend of mine, Andrew Schlesinger. He goes by Drew Schlesinger. I've always known him as Andrew, so. <laughs> um, you can meet Andrew this coming Saturday at our live stream, you will be there. But these are patches. The first set of patches from him available to buy since like 1989, just a little while ago. Um, he's actually someone that doesn't need a whole lot of introduction once you see his resume because in the 90s, he was a busy boy. <laughs> These are all synthesizers that he worked on doing voicing for. And on the Korg products, I'll show you a little bit more details. I worked with him on a couple things. Uh, we worked together on the Korg Z1. Um, we worked on the, down here on the list, when we get through all this stuff, he worked on effect boxes and all sorts of things. But when you get to Spectrosonics, we both contributed to the Bob Moog Tribute Library. He's won some awards for his voicing. He's 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 a very talented programmer. And the cool thing with Mini Freak is that it has all these forms of synthesis. And so if you're somebody, here's here's a nice photo of Andrew, Drew. If you're someone that's into EMS and all these other cool synthesizers, and then you see this list of all these different possibilities of synthesis, your 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 hairs on the back of your head kind of like prickle up because. Uh, it's truly interesting what you can do with this synth. Now, he started and did the voicing on the actual hardware version of the Mini Freak. And the cool thing is these patches will work on both the software and the hardware version, okay? So if you have the hardware, the hardware sounds better. The analog filters make a big difference. The filter they have in this is kind of, eh. Filters are important. It's, that's that's the like the personality of an instrument, right? But it's good enough. It's good enough, good enough, good enough. Anyway, here we are in the 80s working on the Korg Z1 in Japan. By the way, this gentleman sitting here taking a nap, that is Chairman Kato. He's no longer with us. He started Korg many, many years ago with the, the drum machines for, he, he owned clubs. And someone asked him to make a rhythm machine for the entertainment bands and stuff like that. That's kind of where it all began. Uh, but Chairman Kato used to come down and check out what we were doing and sometimes take a little nap while we would continue to work. It was really, really cute. Um, this is one of the voicing rooms in Japan that we worked in. So, uh, yeah, he's... <laughs> so Andrew has a lot of history. He's been a friend for very many years. And I'm thrilled to get to help him bring this library to market. And so this is really a celebration of Synthesis Library. That's the way to really think about it. There's a lot of cool stuff going on here. Cool sounds. If you're not familiar with Arturia's Mini Freak, it's actually pretty cool. There's macros, there's two separate macros. 
You can hit the little plus here or you can hit the macro matrix to open up both the matrix editor, which is really powerful, as well as two macros that can have four controllers and then at different intensities assigned to the two physical on the physical actual mini freak. There's actually a toggle buttons between whether it's the pitch pin and mod wheel or it's doing the macros or it's doing controls for your sequencer. We have this running through Unify because we've also saved all these patches in Unify. We also have so that we've got all 32 knobs set up to control all sorts of wonderful, yummy parameters. So you can... Take all three effects, turn them off. Use Unify's reverb if you want. You've got control of the different synthesizer parameters. And then down here you have distortion which is built into Unify. This is using noise box. So we've got control over, you know. All sorts of cool ways to mess up the patches. I'm just gonna go through a whole bunch of the patches. I'm just gonna play them for you. I think I'm gonna leave it so you see the keyboard at the same time. There's 85, actually there's 86. There was 85 made and we have them organized by categories here. As you can see, there's bases, there's BPM stuff, all this. Also, by the way, if you own Mini Freak in software form from Arturia, we've also unified the whole library. So all 228 patches for the Mini Freak are available as unified patches. It's available at the website. Go to pluginguru.com. Go to the Unify tab, scroll down the page, and in the middle, you'll see that it's listed here. So right here, there will be um, the Unified library for Mini Freak will be available. For free downloads for all these, we have over 80 synthesizers that we have saved the factory presets, including the Korg Prophecy, which Andrew worked on, um, and all these other synthesizers, all Unified, so that you can do this fun capability where you call up one patch, let's say a cool bass. This is from the factory. And then I could go over here to Drew's library to bases, set this to unify layer. Click and I've added it as a new layer. And we can add Skippy's boom bass. I every library. Plugin Guru has to have a deep bass, dark bass. So I contributed one patch. I helped him with some QC, did some macro knob assignment help and stuff like that to just shape it a little bit more in the end to make it a sweet library. So it really, really, really fun. So I'm just gonna call up just. So this is Mini Freak. And again, you go over here. change this stuff. Um, stuff. BPM stuff. Again, these are not genre specific patches. Genres a lot of times decided by how you use the sounds. So these are just really cool sounds. Thank you. 
and they're all tempo synced. So if you took this, we go to Unify Layer and add TikTok in the bass. If we want to do something crazy with Unify, we could go over here to the BPM drums and say, let's go Unify drums so that we don't get any pitch transpose and say beast. Off you go, right? So they're all tempo locked. They work in your DAW. They work really beautifully inside of Unify like that. All right, so BPM stuff, it goes all over the place. It's really, really fun. Right, more cowbell. We all need more. Juicy one. Okay. Clav. That's using the macro controls. I've got a little Native Instruments machine jam over here that's I'm moving the faders on. We can change envelope rates and stuff with the macro controls. Oh, let me show you really quick. If you don't know how to do this, it's really easy, really fun, and very powerful. So if you go over here to the macro matrix page, if you want one of these macros to change things, like say we're over here, if you click the macros button right here, now these, Let's say I wanted it to also like bring up the reverb, which is over here. There's three effects and the third effect is reverb. The mix level is right here. All you have to do is when you say click right here, it pops up these lists here. So you can just click this and that immediately assigns it. So now I can just bring this all the way up and then bring this up and hear the result. We can have the reverb be all the way at zero here. And then when it goes all the way up, we can see right here. See how over there it shows the level? So we can see up to here. Now it's just delays with no reverb. And move the macro. Right? So you can do really easy programming. And even further than that, if you right click on this, you get a list to all of the parameters uh, going into deep things with the mods. And so I don't even understand what these are for, but they are there and listed for you to use if you know what they're for. Uh, elevation. Heat rising. Right? Cool stuff. Uh, lab rat. Uh, 8,000. Nice. Um. 
Okay, all sorts of stuff like that. Random mix. Yeah, if you love cool synth patches that are just experimental fun. That are not just trying to be an 808 bass and lead and stuff like that. Vapor draw. Another one where you got cool chords, so you can. want you could transform from a really funky dry to tighten and delays right stuff like that classics Get your mini mog on. Here's Arrakis. This is lovely. I love this. And macro control one will give you the square wave. And then this is kind of not necessarily Lyle, but. No, he would, on some of the Thaney albums, on some of the solo lines, he would get into. He's that more screechy character to match with what uh, Pat Metheny was doing. Stuff like that, some cool organ. Stuff like that, tubes. Definitely need more than six voices. Get the sound the way. These are the steps to double the polyphony anytime you want. All you have to do is go down to add MIDI effect right here. You click the little plus right here to add MIDI effect. Down the list, you all have this where it says Polybox 
four layer, double click poly box and change this to two layers. So we're gonna only use two layers for two mini freaks. And for voices, we wanna set it to six. We're telling it it's got a limit of six voices per layer, okay? Then all you have to do is go over here to the end and say poly box. And where it says all, change that to one. And then one last step. Go here and say duplicate one times next channel, which means it's gonna to advance to MIDI channel two. And now I have 12 voice pads. And if you're playing something where you need more than that, you could say, ah, I need more than that. So I'm gonna say plus one. It sets this all up. I just gotta go up to the poly box and now say I need a pool of three instead of two because I now have three layers. And they all listen to the real-time controls. That's as easy as it is. So you'll hear notes canceling because it's only a six voice polyphonic plugin. See? But you now know the steps to take to do that and double it, so. It can go places. Uh, other pads. Really fun. Warm pads for... double the polyphony on some of these. Uh, there's a... Um This Rezo Arco is really great. If you happen to own for Unify the BBC uh, Discover Station library, let me show you really cool. If you go down here to the strings and you get one of the short ones, like say the uh, staccatos, and let's load that into Unify into a new layer. This will load up Unify, which has all five string sections. If you bring down the Arco, because it's kind of loud. You can go without it. And it gives this really, really cool rosin vibe. Without it. Makes it stick out in a really, really cool way. So that is one of the patches um, I worked with him a little bit on to shape it so that it's able to work with other libraries of strings. Good stuff. Uh, the voices are really cool. As 
playing with the macro one and two. <laughs> and finally, Vaco Owls. So, 86 patches for Arturia's Mini Freak. Um, came out really, really, really cool. Available at our website. I think um, Andrew's selling it at his website as well. Uh, enjoy. And welcome back to Synthesizer Programming, Andrew. I hope this is not the last time we see products from you. We're happy to sell other stuff that you create. So, uh, again, he's going to be on our live stream this coming Saturday. If you can't make it to Saturday, I have a live tab you can look at at the Plugin Guru YouTube channel, and you'll see his list. You could search for if you want. You could just say Plugin Guru Drew Schlesinger interview, and it would pop up his interview. Um, it will be saved and put there forever to be watched whenever you want to see it. Okay. So thank you for your support, and thank you so much for supporting Drew and his entry into synthesizer programming. Um, it's good he's here. So see you in the next video. Okay.